All right, well, I'm still working with this uh, free piston Stirling engine that I made out of soda cans, and it's a blade and a semi-112 design, and I it wasn't working with the refrigerator uh, setup, so I thought I'd better go back and, and work on this part of the whole thing some more uh, before I try another engine to, to do the refrigeration, but uh, I added uh, steel wool on the outside of this the tomato juice displacer can that's inside here and it vastly improved the performance but what I'm finding out is that when this is running correctly it's a violent um, engine and it has to be held rigid uh, let me show you how this works when it's working correctly and this is what uh, Blade was showing in his videos is trying to control this uh, power is a challenge let's put this right on the burner here takes a second for it to light off, but uh, this is the way the engine is supposed to operate, and I don't think you're going to do it with a 555 timer circuit and an electromagnet. That's how violent this engine is. Tremendous amount of power, but very violent. And uh, like I say, you, you'd have to have this in a rigid structure. The minute I take that off the burner, if that's not rigid, this stops. It'll go for a little bit on its own as the heat goes off of it. That's the heat that's draining off of the bottom of the can. But the minute that's not stable, uh, that stops running. Let me show it to you one more time. Uh, this is how it's supposed to work. And like I say, it's a very violent motion and uh, like I said you'd have to drive it with a motor I think to make it work as a refrigerator uh, you're not going to be able to put a, a electromagnet on that thing and, and get it to do that violent violent motion which is this thing running in the correct fashion so anyway I just wanted to show that and I, I may have to go to a completely different engine design to see if I can get that refrigeration effect, which is something I would really like to do. I'd like to see one of these Stirlings cool down with just air and one atmosphere, and it can be done. I'm convinced. It's just maybe not with that engine. Thanks for watching.